Hey there everyone, Benji here, and welcome to a special episode of All About a Fur Tutor. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about Dog Bomb and how he has made a special impact on the furry fandom. I'm also going to be talking about how furries in the furry fandom have raised money for the ALS Foundation. That being said, let's get to it. So a few small facts about Dog Bomb that most of you probably already know is his real name was Tony Barrett. He was born September 27th, 1963 and died April 5th, 2019, which was this year. So Dog Bomb's very first furry convention was Further Confusion in San Jose back in 2010. But his favorite one was BLFC, also known as Biggest Little Fur Con, in Reno, Nevada. His last furry convention before he passed away was also in San Jose back in 2018. Okay, so another little fact about Dog Bomb is he loved to travel. He loved to travel to a lot of places. But there are five places he loved to travel most of all. I'm actually going to name them five to one, kind of like a little top five here. So, number five was Lake Havasu, which is in Arizona. Number four is Lake Powell, which is also in Arizona. Number three is Maui, which is in Hawaii. Number two, is San Felipe, which is in Mexico. I hope I'm not butchering that. <laughs> and number one is Bay of Conception. So Dog Bomb had five beliefs on how he oversaw the world. And those five beliefs are, number one is help others, no matter the cost, even if it's gonna cost you something. Number two, always help the animals. Number three, find and chase your passions in life. Number four, make the world a better place. And number five, enjoy life and make it an incredible journey. I have to admit, Dog Bomb has some incredible wisdom right there because those five things are pretty much what anyone wants to achieve in life. That is just really, really amazing, I must say. So most of you probably all know, Dog Bomb was diagnosed with ALS back in March 2018. He also tried an early stage clinical trial medicine to try to stop or slow down the disease. And that also brings me to my next topic, and that is how furries in the furry fandom have helped donate money to the ALS Foundation. So, with that being said, let's get into the next topic. So first off, I want to say how amazing it really is how everyone gathered up and helped donate to the ALS Foundation during this time of need. Like, for example, Slay the Aqua Dragon here donated around $600 to the ALS Foundation. That was truly, truly amazing. I think overall, although I'm not 100% sure about this, I think overall, I think it was about $20,000 was donated to the ALS Foundation um, through everybody. And that was really awesome. If I am wrong about that, let me know in the comments below. But it was truly awesome how the furries just gathered up and donated to the ALS Foundation in Dog Bomb's honor and Dog Bomb's name. It was truly, truly awesome. Even though furries get a bad reputation, I will admit there are some furries out there who are just like, yeah, they're pretty bad. But there are some furries out there that have that bad reputation and keep giving us that bad reputation. There are examples like Slade right here and Dog Bomb, for example, that keep that give us a really good rep. And there are, there are still great, great, great furries out there. So in my opinion, the furry fandom is probably the best thing that's ever happened. Positive impact. Where do I even begin with this one? Um, Dog Bomb has honestly made such a positive impact on the furry community that he's probably changed it for the better. Po even at the worst of times, Dog Bomb saw the positivity in everything, in life, in the in the community and, and just in general. He really just saw the positives and everything and that's what made him awesome. It really, really has. It was really cool to see the furry fandom gather together in, his, in the last moments of Dog Bomb. It was so sad, but it was really cool to see them just all gather up together and raising their glasses and uh, hashtag a toast for Dog Bomb. It was really cool to see the whole furry fandom gather together for that. I even did a little post for that too. I unfortunately didn't have a drink, but I did what I could. So my thoughts on Dog Bomb. So I never got to meet him personally, even though I wish I did. I really do wish I did. But 
I definitely heard he's a very sweet and awesome person to be around. So, I, in my opinion, I definitely think Dog Bomb is a furry hero. I really do. He's definitely done a lot for this community. He helped people when people are down. He was there for people when they needed him. He was, he was, he's just, just the best. He, he's really awesome. But I'm happy to do it. I'm happy, I was really happy to make this video about Dog Bomb and honor him. That's why I wanted to make this video today. I wanted to honor Dog Bomb in any way I could. So thank you everyone for watching this. Um, if you do enjoy my content, feel free to give this a like. Feel free to subscribe if you are new. Um, this will be the end of the video. Um, if you guys have any questions or if I got like something, some, some, if I got some research wrong, let me know in the comments. I'm always free to answer questions. But with that being said though, I bid you farewell.